so uh, this is the second lecture so as i told in the first lecture that we will learn few more uh, distribution probability distribution function with some example because that will be maybe uh, needed later uh, so already i have uh, told the binomial distribution with uh, an example so now in this lecture we will learn a uh, few more uh, probability distribution function okay so now we will learn first the poisson distribution okay so now you you can take down the uh, definition of it uh, a random variable so this poisson distribution also it's a, 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 a discrete uh, probability distribution so uh, you can take the uh, take down the definition a random variable capital x this capital x is the random variable is said to be uh, said to follow poisson distribution if it assumes indefinite number of non, non negative integer values and its probability density function is given by lambda to the power x e to the power lambda by factorial x for lambda is equal to for lambda is equal lambda greater than is equal to 0 and 0 elsewhere okay so this lambda is the mean here okay so uh, this is the poisson distribution now we will uh, solve one small problem uh, to understand it okay so okay so now take down one example it is known that the number of heavy trucks arriving at railway station follows the poisson distribution and you remember this poisson distribution may be applicable for some rare events so in reliability this kind of uh, poisson exponential distribution this is very very important okay so if the average number of truck arriving during a specified uh, period of an hour is 2 then find the probability that a, during a given hour no heavy truck will arrive or at least two truck will arrive this is the problem so here given that the <coughs> average number of truck arrival during a specified period of one hour is two then my lambda is equal to two it is given here okay so as you know the probability dis distribution function is so now we'll define one symbol x okay so now probability by my, my sorry s y m s so my probability distribution function it is given by e to the power minus lambda into uh, so f is equal to e to the power minus lambda into lambda to the power x divided by factorial x factorial x okay so this is my this is my probability distribution function now the first question is uh, no heavy track arrive so in that case my x is 0 okay so my uh, for that so no track no track so that I have to substitute my probability distri uh, distribution function x to be substituted by 0 so this is that so I am so that probability is 0.1353 okay now the second question is no uh, at least two tracks that means more than more than or two so it will be two three four so and so so now to rather than do all this uh, infinite series if i do if i if i find the probability of uh, uh, 0 uh, 1 and take its complement then it will satisfy my uh, required probability so the total probability is 1 so if i subtract from there uh, to arrive one track or no track that thing it will give the uh, 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 
at least two track will be arriving okay so now what i will do i will take uh, so that is a uh, two track so that i have to take the complement so f comma x comma 0 plus f comma x comma 1 so this is that this is that then so that probability is point uh, 5939 okay so this is one uh, example of Poisson distribution now we will go for the continuous distribution which is very important uh, for uh, uh, this particular engineering application uh, now I will tell you that now you can take down the definition so this is a continuous distribution okay a continuous random variable capital X is said to follow normal distribution with a parameter mu and the range of mu is plus to minus infinity okay and your sigma square is greater than zero okay so a continuous random variable x is said to follow normal distribution with parameter mu which is lying between minus to plus infinity and sigma square is greater than zero if it takes on any real value and its probability density function is given by 1 by 2 pi sigma square so here also x also lies between minus infinity to plus infinity okay so this is this is the this is my probability distribution function so it can be written in different different forms also so here we can write root over 2 pi sigma root 2 pi sigma i take out sigma root 2 pi x exp x minus mu by sigma whole square you can write in this way also okay so this is the normal distribution now we will take down one uh, example of normal distribution so this uh, uh, application of normal distribution is uh, quite more in uh, engineering and uh, real life application so you just try to that's why i will take slight more time on that please try to follow me now you take down the uh, uh, now you, you can take down the uh, uh, problem okay in a university the mean weight of 1000 male student is 60 kg and the standard deviation is 16 okay so here what is given okay first i will clear it other is a variable mismatch will be there so in an university the mean weight of 1000 male student is 60 kg so mean is is equal to 60 given and the standard deviation is standard deviation is 16 so my sigma that is is equal to 16 it is given okay now we have to find out the number of male student having their weight less than 55 kg number of student having their weight more than 70 uh, 70 kg and number of student uh, of their weight between 45 to 65 kg okay this is one this is one question another question is what should be the what should be the lowest weight of 100 heaviest uh, male student okay and you have to assume that that this this, this distribution is normally distributed 
okay so the first question is the number of male student having their weight less than 55 kg so we know as i told uh, in the different form it can be written so uh, i can assume one variable z which is, is equal to so now we have to find out so now you see z is equal to my z is equal to x minus mu by sigma okay this is my this is my variable that means this is the limit now in it in a better way So this is some kind of normal distribution curve. Now what we need to do the so this part this side the area cover under the curve this side is 0.5 and this side 0.5 so total is 1 okay. So now we have to find out the we have to find out the area under the car where the weight of the student less than 55. So we have to find out area of this portion. Okay. Okay. So now if I can find the area of this, so this is so this is your this point is basically so this point is your mean uh, this is your mean point it is 60 so your 55 will be somewhere this point is your 55 okay so now if i integrate the area for this region and if i minus from 0.5 then i will get the area of this side okay so that only i am going to do so now that limit is, is equal to so uh, the upper limit upper limit is equal to z so here my z is 55 z is 55 sorry x is 55 and my mean is 60 divided by s okay but here one thing is because this is both the side is symmetric so basically i am doing uh, uh, that inversion it, it will it will not matter so this is my value okay now my desired probability is as i told 0.5 minus i have to integrate it it is a continuous distribution so now I will define my function. So my function is equal to what I told 1 by root over pi. So 1, 1 by sqrt 2 pi. Okay. Into exp. So here I will take another thing, one symbol I will take already x I have not taken ok, I will take x, so that is minus x square by 2, so this is my distribution function so my required probability is as i told 0.5 minus now i have to do integration 
so f with respect to x lower limit is 0 upper limit is upper limit already i have done it so this is my desired uh, probability now i have to because so this is this is the value so now the total student is what total student is this is the probability in percentage or uh, something 37 percent is that the 30 percent 37 percent student are below 55 the weight is weight are below 55 so how many so thousand into that so around so uh, this will be So around 377 student will be there whose weight is less than whose weight is less than a 55 kg. Okay. Now another problem, another second thing you can do, second part you can try so that that will be more than 70 kg. Okay. So the answer will be 264. And the third question, third uh, third one is uh, between 45 and 65. So now you have to, um, this is very, uh, this is, uh, I'll show you what. So, So, this is from uh, 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 45 to 65. So, this is 60. This point is 60. So, 65 is somewhere and 45 is somewhere. So, you have to find out this area. So, it is very easy. So, this uh, 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 what I will show you that. So, I have to find out this area basically. It is very simple. So, for this case, my upper uh, lower limit A is equal to A is equal to uh, uh, 65. Sorry, sorry, I have told uh, by uh, it is wrong. So, 45 is, so this side is higher. So, uh, one minute. So, this side is 65 and this side is 45. So, I have to find out the area from here to here. So, this side is your 65 and this is your 45. So, you have to integrate it from uh, here to basically here to here and here to here or you can straight forward you can from here to here also you can integrate okay so now my uh, uh, a is 65 minus 60 divided by my s this is my a and my b is equal to as i told i can take inversion because it's a symmetric curve so 45 minus 60 by s okay so now my desired probability is integration of f comma x which is 0 to a and integration of f with respect to x 0 to b this is my total probability so now i am converting into fraction so total number of student is so around 440 uh, uh, 448 student will be the weight between uh, 45 and 65 kg so this uh, when i will be teaching you the vibration this uh, this uh, 
concept will be very important so that's why i am i, I, I am telling you that time you should not uh, feel odd so that's why i am explaining this with some example okay now what is the lowest weight between uh, lowest weight of uh, of the hundredest uh, of the hundred heaviest male student okay so this thing is quietly you have to do the reverse way for that you need the table so let you assume now you can assume it i'll show it here so for that you need the chart so now what i told let x is the let x is the lowest weight among 100 heaviest student okay so my z is equal to what my z is equal to this x minus mean mean is 60 divided by standard deviation that is yes so this is my z now we want to find out the probability of that 100 heaviest student okay so that means we have to get the probability so my desired if my uh, uh, so from where to where i have to integrate i have to integrate if or you can take it is z1 okay so i have to do 0 to this z1 so that is is equal to my one sided one so that is 0.5 minus actually my it is total is 1000 so 1000 by sorry 100 by 1000 so that probability is 0.1 so my desired probability is 0.4 so now to put that value in the integration so it will be coming in terms of x upper limit and it's a it's an improper integral so you cannot uh, calculate it minus x square is an improper integral so you have to take the table only from there you have to find out so now that means you have to integrate that probability density function 0 to z1 f x dx where fx is equal to 1 by root over 2 pi e to the power minus x square by 2 that is, is equal to 4 and this z1 is equal to x minus 60 by uh, 16 so a, s is 16 basically given that problem s is 16 so from there we have to find out x so this this is uh, uh, straightforward it is not uh, so easy so better to take the help of the table and from there your value of x will come if you do that it will come 80.48 you can try you can try it by your own okay now the one more distribution i will tell this is the last one which is also very useful it will be needed for our study that is exponential distribution okay this is the last one
now we take down the uh, definition a random variable capital x is said to follow exponential distribution with parameter lambda which is greater than 0 okay if it takes any non negative real value and its probability density function is given by lambda e to the power minus x for x greater than 0 and 0 elsewhere. So, this is the definition of exponential distribution. You see, after this course, I am going to uh, in PFBR, there is a variable frequency drive which is consisting of inverter so i will show you how the reliability how the reliability of the system is calculated so they are everything uh, reliability of uh, igbt reliability of diode all the components how it is calculated so for that this cons that time it is it will be required so if the our uh, time permits and if you are interested i will show you that so that time this this mathematics this concept will be required so now you can take one example of exponential distribution a telephone calls arrive a switchboard following an exponential distribution with a parameter lambda is equal to 12 per hour if we are if we are at the switchboard what is the probability that the waiting time for a call is 15 minutes at least 15 minutes or not more than 10 minutes okay so the first so here given is with a, as I told the distribution it is a exponential distribution with a parameter lambda is equal to 12 per hour. So my given is lambda is equal to 12 ok and my probability distribution function it is exponential. So I will write uh, it uh, symbol one symbol x and my probability distribution sorry yeah. So, that f is equal to lambda into exponential minus lambda into x. This is my distribution function. Now, we have to find out first one is at least at least 15 minutes means 15 or more so if i found if i find 15 and then i can take complement of that i will get the desired i will get the desired probability okay so what is telling the waiting time for a call is at least 15 minutes that means 15 or more so i will exactly calculate for 15 and take the complement so that is 1 minus 1 minus i will substitute sorry i will substitute f with by x is equal to 15 minutes so 15 minutes means uh by short 1 by 4 and a 0.25 okay so this is my desired one so it is basically so that is 12 into exponential e to the power minus so Yeah. So, where I did anywhere I did any mistake?
<coughs> so this is oh sorry 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 it is a continuous distribution so again i was again i am telling i am i have done that mistake only so that first probability should be 1 minus it is to be integrated because it's a continuous distribution <coughs> so my lower limit is 0 and my upper limit is 0 0.25 uh, sorry okay so that is e to the power minus 3 <coughs> that is my desired this one and waiting time not more than not more than 10 minutes so it is within 10 minutes <coughs> okay so that means i have to integrate 10 minutes means 1 by 6 10 by 60 1 by 6 so that probability is integrate f with respect to x 0 to 1 by 6 so that is 1 minus e to the power minus 2 <coughs> this is my <coughs> desired probability so here why what why i am integrating because it's a continuous so basically we are finding the area uh, under the curve so hope this uh, four kind of uh, kinds of distribution two is uh, discrete two are discrete that is uh, binomial binomial and poison and two are uh, continuous that is uh, gaussian and uh, exponential this is very important for uh, engineering application and i have uh, given you the glimpse of that with some example so then next time when we will be using in uh, actual application when i will be explaining i think it will be easy for you so thank you so much <coughs>